Now, these poles right here are what is left of the poles that there was a line that was strung across the top from that to that that they would hang the shoes because um, the road that you see here wasn't here in the first shots of this town. And I guess those of you who have watched this movie know what I'm talking about, but I guess I can fill you in if you don't as I go. But initially when he first arrives at this town, um, this road is not here and all these buildings that are in pretty bad shape now you know look beautiful they're brand new people didn't wear shoes they're walking around barefoot on this grass dancing singing lights strung between the buildings but this is the way that he came in in the movie and i have been in each and every one of these except for one and most of them are just as you see the facades are built and when you enter in them, uh, they're, they're basically empty with the exception of like curtains on the windows, except for two. And I'll peek in as we get to those buildings. The ride over to this, this is actually, this is actually the one that I did not get into and I'm not really about to trudge through all this growth. I think a lot of it stems from the fence that's there up to the doorway, but it's all overgrown. But all the other ones you can get right up to or and in, but this is the only one I haven't gone in. But the, uh, the road over to here is beautiful. It's a one lane dirt road that really, I guess we're on a peninsula here, connected just by that road. There's water all the way around it. I'll try to show some shots of that later. And uh, they actually have mowed around the buildings to keep the growth up but a lot of them as you can see are just falling apart the uh, woman who lives next to the um, location was filling me in on a little of the information but in short when they built the movie set um, Tim Burton had asked her if he was to give her money um, could they just basically up and pull out and she said yes so that this is what's left of it and this is the way well of course it wasn't this crumble but when uh, the character returns to Spectre, the town has the road and, you know, things look different. But this is one of the, well, it says Grand Hotel, obviously, but this is one of the sites or the uh, sets that has uh, some things that I think were shot inside of, but I'm going to have to rewatch the movie to tell for sure. But I'll stick my head in here. The reason I say that is with the cabinetry. Maybe it's just to see it from the outside, but you can see the large windows and there's a, a step up onto there with something may have been displayed. More cabinets here and the lights are still hanging. And this is one of the ones that I'd have to go back and see. They may have shot something inside here. I don't know. And what's kind of funny is this, this looks like cement. And I don't know what it's actually made out of, but it almost, maybe porcelain, you know, it almost sounds like glass when you step on it in certain places where it's weakened. But, um, almost all of this is, a uh, plywood, and that's what a lot of the insides look like. Uh, I'll go into another one, but I was going to even show you the, the brick that they use, of course, it's not real, but it's almost like rubber. You can press on it and actually feel it push in. But it's basically just glass, plywood, porcelain, and there are ele there is electricity running into it the, behind some of these sets. I don't know if it was for the movie itself or if they actually run it into here for anything in general, but um, this, I would assume there was some sort of a well, it's either the front of that building or maybe an awning or something, but it's it's come down. And all these... I'll step inside this. A lot of these, I think, were, you know, look to be like stores. But as you can see when you enter in here, there's just a backdrop that you would see from the glass and then almost 
all of them look like this. When you get back in here, it's just empty, bare. Two by four is being held up. There's a lot of tarp still in here. And that's it. Even the one the store next door. That's pretty much what you're seeing. Uh, basically a prop and then it's being held up by the wood. And then the curtains. There's curtains and blinds all over the place. That's pretty much the only thing that you see that's remaining from the movie. And a broken lamp here. And I'm sorry if walking and filming is making things difficult to view, but to watch where I'm going. There's a lot of nails sticking up. I did notice there's a fire extinguisher here on this one. It's the only one I've seen. It stands out being all red and everything's pretty dark here in terms of the building color, but um, it wouldn't be far-fetched if you needed to use it on one of these buildings. Now this is the house that has the other inside that I believe was used for filming and in fact I'm pretty certain it was. We'll step up in here and you'll see why. You can see what's left of the steps. This was a little tricky getting in and out of. But. This is pretty much the only one that had a finished out inside, at least in terms of what's remaining, and I don't think any or many of the other ones do, um, because they're just bare. This is a smaller one, but um, this, I think, is the one that they used when he's eating the pie, when they're sitting at that table in the chairs, and he's eating that pie, and that fireplace is that's what's making me think that. I'd have to watch the movie over again, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. Um, and it would make sense the way it's finished out. I believe I remember seeing all these windows. There's even a back porch to it, too. Most of these sets don't have anything besides the front facade. But this one does, which would make sense that if they were shooting inside there at a different angle, you'd want something shown on both sides. And there are, I don't know if I mentioned, but the road is called Cypress Lane to get to here and these cypress trees are just amazing I mean they're they're so beautiful they're huge and I have the I believe it's a Spanish moss that hangs off of it and I hope it's coming through on here but it's just gorgeous I mean you can see here how maybe you can see it it's literally like draping to the ground and beyond that straight ahead and I can't zoom on here I don't know if I have enough filming time left I'll walk to the water but it has the trees and it looks like dead trees essentially that are just they have grown out through that water straight ahead and they're still standing. It's it's so pretty. And it's it's such a beautiful area. I mean it really is. It's so quiet back here. There's a little access road and I basically I think the only people who come here are fishermen or people like myself who wanted to see what's left of the set. And there was a sweet old lady who I spoke to that allowed me to get into the set or at least access to the road to get to the set. And, um, you know, she was saying she was embarrassed at the state that everything was in, in terms of the set, but I mean, you can't maintain, oh, you can't really do anything to maintain them other than probably what they've done. Um, they, they're just basically um, plywood, as I said. So, I'm gonna jump off of here and go back out towards the church. Actually, I'm going to take a peek at this water. And I hope it comes through on this film because I don't know what's being shown compared to what I'm seeing. But out in the straight ahead of me, maybe 20 yards as an old tree growing through that and off in the distance, like way out in the middle of this. And I believe this is the Alabama River. And what this river does, it circles completely around this peninsula that I'm 
standing on and it's straight ahead over here and I, I took some other pictures of it but it's just beautiful and lastly here's the church it's at the end of the road literally and I'll show you the inside of it steps are actually in decent shape some of them are crumbled but this is the way a lot of them look just you open you go in and there's nothing it's just two, two by fours and plywood there's a ramp here oh there's a lizard on that board in front of me I don't know if you can see him moving <laughs> Actually, one of the houses in the back, up towards the front of the set, there was a mouse climbing the uh, curtains when I walked in it. Just a bunch of hornets, that's about it. It's just <laughs> critters, and that's about it back here. And then there's something way up white. I, it's just another thing that, you know, from the road or from the outside that would show when you look through, but this is it. That's pretty much the gist of this back there. Now, straight ahead, where we started, just beyond those poles, there is, um, I believe it's a scene where he's walking before he gets a specter where there's the big cobwebs but there's actually like um there are a lot of cypress trees as i mentioned and showed you on here but there was actually some fake ones that were used for the set it's really overgrown i'm going to attempt to get back in there i'll film some of it if i can there's one of the things i always remember also from the movie aside from them running around on their bare feet here was that they were always on rocking chairs and here's one of them. This is the only one that I've seen. It's left of it. And as you can see when you step in, that's it. Tarp. A lot of these, the, the backs of these as well, are open. You know, there isn't a backside to it. Um, and there's also some gliders on some of these porches, like over here. There's some gliders, such as that one right here. It's really overgrown, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a glider there. I'll try to get a shot of it from here. There's a large lizard by that fire extinguisher. And it's it's right up against that uh, the side of the other um, railing. There may have been a, something shot in this one too. I, I know I said I thought there were only two, but I guess I would probably say three. I, I don't I don't know what this is, but it definitely seems to have more. You know, with the cabinets and everything. So uh, probably something was shot in here too. That's pretty much it. So we're sort of halfway. In between um, what's left of Spectre.